codes we keep underneath because they're changed weekly. Got it. That's about it. Oh, most importantly, nobody but nobody gets past this point without a C3 level clearance. Not a problem, sir. Oh, Christ. What the hell does this clown want? Why don't you let me take this one, sir? Okay, Rook, let's see your stuff. You're gonna have to turn around. Plant's closed. I'm just bringing uh, my brother-in-law's lunch. It'll take me two minutes, Max. I'm in and out. What's his name? Rick Allen, supervisor. Section H, building 15. Right. I'll make sure he gets it. Just testing. Graver, CIA. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm Bill Clinton. Out of the car. Now look, you got the job. Jensen here. I got a guy at gate four, says he's from the shop. Uh, Graver, Mark L. He's clear, let him through. Next time, make sure the people in the car keep their hands on the dash. That way they can't get to your weapon. Sorry, sir, don't worry about it. We all make mistakes. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Pretty good, Vince. How are you? Good, thanks. How are these new guys working out for you? Uh, this one's a little bit green, but uh, he's got potential. Good. Take it easy. Soon. When I'm satisfied, everything's been checked. I don't know. Within an hour. I want you to double check that circuitry and make sure those channels aren't reversed. Come on, move! <laughs> hey! It isn't the devil himself. It's been a long time, Rick. Too long, buddy. The last I heard, you were headed for a trip to the altar. Don't tell me I missed out on getting a kiss the bride. No, you didn't, I did. Huh? Well, I never married her. It, uh, it didn't work out. <sighs> Women. Come on, let me show you how your tax dollars are being spent. Ooh, I can hardly wait. So what's all this about, anyway? It's a nuclear guidance actuator module. Looks like a goddamn microwave oven. <laughs> Is it baked bread or something? No, but it has some other very interesting features. Like what? Like it can guide and control an entire nuclear arsenal. Peace, brother. Thank you. Chief, all ready to go, sir. Good work, Richard. Take this down to level three security and have him put it in the vault. So this is the baby, huh? That's her. Without that encoded chip, this is just six million bucks worth of high-tech wire and junk. That's why the brass has been keeping them apart. When's final assembly? Don't know. Don't care. All I know is my responsibility is to ship this baby HQ Wyoming. Once it hits Wyoming, I'm out of the loop and off to Cabo for a week of Marlin Margaritas and muchachas. Hey, I don't want to hear about it, OK? Some people have to work for a living. <laughs> and not necessarily in that order. Coming up to my office for a cup of joe. Sounds good. So I don't know. What do you, what do you think about I'll think about you riding shotgun over our little baby while I'm sitting back on the beach, pulling out a cool one. You're a cruel son of a bitch. It's true. <laughs> it's true, I am. Fresh brute, huh? This is a real deal, pal. Yeah, it's a good thing I like it black. <laughs> what a cushy job. Oh, I gotta find these brochures. I know you wanna see the way I'm going to torture me a little bit more. I can take it. <laughs>
Rick, hold on, man. Come on, stay with me, man. Take it to the loading dock. Stay with me. Stryker! I know it's you! Give it up! The shot's gonna hunt you down! Guys, always on a break. Sorry, Graver. Sign says no passengers. Ralph Straker. I mean, he knew exactly where and when to hit. He may have left the shop, but I'm telling you, he's got a friend somewhere in the agency. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd say you were in charge of security and you screwed up. I was supposed to escort the package tonight. It didn't even make it to the front gate. Your concentration has been shit for the last six months. Now, it'll be noted on my report that you were not ready for this assignment. And I think we both know why, don't we? This has nothing to do with Alexa. I lost contact with her when she left the protection program. I don't even know where she lives. Oh, save it for somebody else. You screwed up, plain and simple. Well, Straker may have the actuator, but we, we still have the chip. Yeah, well, he'll be coming back for it. I think you should let me take it from here. Oh, not a chance in hell. 
You get her out of your head, Mark, or you're finished. Now, I expect a detailed report of what occurred here on my desk by 8 a.m. Yes, ma'am. your eggs. Why? So I go to be big strong like you? That's right. Are you ready for school? Yep. Mom, I need a pair of Air Jordans. Why is that? Jim Dick says you're not cool. If you don't have Air Jordans, he has two pairs. You tell Jimmy Dix that you have your own pony, and that's cooler than 20 pairs of sneakers. Yeah. Hi, right, Fred Dow. What do you think? No, it's time for school. That's right. When I'm your age, I want to be this tall. <laughs> all right, all right. This is my best one. Have you heard about the dyslexic agnostic insomniac? He sits up at night wondering if there's a dog. Hey, the statues can smile. Hubba hubba. What do we got here? Pull over. Hey, we gotta get you back by 3 o'clock. What was supposed to be is the good guys. Now pull over. What seems to be the problem, man? I don't know. It just died. Can you take a look? Charge a fee for rescuing damsels in distress. Say, uh, dinner? Tomorrow night? I'll leave uh, Fry a Tuck and Little John here at home. What do you say? Maybe. dinner now, honey. I want the lab security code. I don't know it. I only got a level two clearance. Wrong answer. <clears throat> How's your memory now, you little Silicon Valley weasel? Give me the code and I'll let you live. Otherwise, I'll blow your head into computer wasteland. Three, two, six, nine. One eight. See now? All that pot you've been smoking hasn't completely fried your brain. Now about our date.
for you, Mommy. Oh, sweetheart. That's so pretty. Thank you. We can put it on the refrigerator at home. Yes, we sure can. in the air and step out slowly. Gonna get this place to work right. You know how hot it gets in this little box. <laughs> yeah, sure. Maybe we should get them to try it in there sometime. <laughs> you have a fat chance. You got the work order? Okay, we're gonna have to search your vehicle. You know where you're going, right?
somewhere you're not. Find me. Killing a person in a small town grocery store as a way of making the news. What do you want? I just want to look at you for a minute. Minutes up. Are you okay? Are you all right? You won't let me see Tanya. Have you seen her? Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She asked me to give you this. This is your attorney, Mr. Radcliffe. We'll be representing you. Madam? When are they going to let me out of here? They're not. The EA is charging you with manslaughter and endangering a minor. That's fucking ridiculous. They were robbing that store. They shot a clerk. They threatened to kill my daughter. Were there any witnesses? Yeah. The store clerk was in the hospital, was very upset. Claims that the last thing he saw was you with a shotgun. But the... The what? The assailant that lived told the police that when he got out of the store, that you went berserk and started shooting all over the place. He's lying. He was one of them. Did you talk to him? No, not yet. But look, you told the police that you killed the other guy. This is complete bullshit. 
No, madam. This is the law. And I suggest that you plead guilty to assault with a deadly weapon. You'll be deported, but it's a hell of a lot better than rotting away in a federal prison. What about Tanya? Tanya will remain a ward of the court under foster care until she's 18 years old. I'm sorry. Alexa, this isn't gonna help. Jeez, what are you, nuts? She's under protective custody. The judge decided that you're in a danger to, to her well-being, and quite frankly, my dear, I agree with him. It's very possible you won't have any further contact with her. It's not fair. I was only trying to protect her. Can't you do something? Pull some strings, grant me immunity. It doesn't work that way, Alexa. We don't have any jurisdiction here. I mean, you're not even a U.S. citizen. The minute you left our protective custody, your status went to a legal alien. Can I fight them? Yeah, you can try. But it could take months, even years. Unless... What? If you were working for us, they couldn't touch you. We could work through outside channels, get you and Tanya out of the country. That'll take time. What do you mean, work for you? We need you, Alexa. You just want me back for some bullshit mission. I've put it behind me now. All I want to do is live in peace with my daughter. That's all I want. Back in that store, you wouldn't have let those thugs touch Tanya, would you? Of course not. Because people don't change. I'm just giving you an alternative. The choice is yours. I'm sure you recognize the subject. Kluge and a female accomplice. Identity unknown. Broke into our security lab and stole the encoded microchip. Now, you know Kluge's methods and his weaknesses. So what we want you to do is infiltrate his headquarters and get reacquainted. Find the location of the chip and recover it. And if I'm caught or killed, you'll deny any knowledge of my action, right? Graver will back you up. He'll take a concealed position with a view of the camp and be in constant communication. What if they search me? See to it that they don't. What makes you think Cluj is going to trust me? I haven't seen him in five years. Make him trust you. Light the old fires. Do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes? What if I say no? Well, I'm sure Tanya will grow up to be a perfectly normal American teenage girl. Only you won't be around to see it. You are a real bitch. Rendezvous point is in Salcida, then you get a jeep and head into the hills. Thanks. I've been briefed. Just making sure you've got everything down. I've got everything down. Just don't talk to me. Alexa, whether you like it or not, we're on this mission together, so relax. You might even enjoy it. Enjoy it? There was a time when you thought I was a man of your dreams, remember? <laughs> don't flatter yourself. Man of my dreams? Christ. The Grand Caymans? That was no illusion, Alexa. We didn't even unpack. It looked like something. It was nothing. It was a lie. I forgive you. You forgive me? Yeah. You forgive me? You left me. That was a mistake. I forgive you. You arrogant, egotistical snake. You promised me that you would leave the CIA. You went back. We were going to start over. You left me. I asked you to come with me. I have a daughter. I have a house. I cook dinner every night. I weed my garden. Do you get that? Yeah, I don't have a garden and I can't cook. Do you get that? We have our priorities. Yeah, mine is my career. Yours is your garden. Mine is Tanya, you ass. <laughs> See, you still like me. Oh, really? 
How can you tell? Well, because you're getting so emotional and distraught. I mean, if you didn't like me, you'd be cold and distant like you usually are, and your face wouldn't be as red as a beet. God, you piss me off. Just get a hold of yourself, Alexa. Oh, like you're so cool and calm. I am. I don't let my emotions interfere with my judgment. There's a fine line you have to draw. Balance. Open up! We're on a mission! Thank you. I'm sorry, Mark. You were saying? Just get on a plane. or money that had your sorry ass back to us. There's nothing sorry about my ass, Victor. You know that. I want to see Cluj. Cluj who? Just tell him I'm here. It's too hot for your bullshit. I don't take orders from traitors. But perhaps Franz would like to hear your excuses before we close your account. Franz! What is it? You won't believe who has come crawling back to us. Alexa wants to talk. Alexa, yes. Send her up. Oh, it will be a pleasure. My God, Alexa, one's past is never far behind. And it's amazing, if one stays in one spot, it may even catch up to you. Hello, Franz. You're looking well. I'd say the same to you, but that would be redundant. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Well, I heard you were potty training little boys out here in the sand. <laughs> Come over here, baby. I'll teach you a couple of things. It's Beware, gentlemen. It may be Alexa who can teach us a thing or two. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, look at this. Oh. Hey, baby. Come over here.
Gentlemen, that is the most important lesson you'll ever learn. Never underestimate your opponent. Never underestimate your opponent. And now, my dear Alexa, why are you here? Why I'm here? You're the reason why I'm here. Because you cut right through the bullshit. You know what bullshit is? It's being sent into a known hostile zone, unarmed, with one lousy, incompetent CIA agent as your backup. It's being lied to and extorted. It's finding out you've been playing for the wrong team. Thanks, but no thanks, Graver. I'm better off without you. Together again, we could be invincible, like the old days. My God, I missed you. Alexa, come. Let's get you cleaned up. Admit, Franz, you still live well. Life's too short. There's no point in living badly. All the mercenary camps in the world, you walked into mine. Attention, Quadrant 8. We've got a possible security breach in B sector. Keep alert. Copy that. I'll be on the lookout up here. never any ball. I heard you were getting married to this man, Mark Graver. How could you do that? Alexa, one of the pigs. I don't want to play the game anymore. I'm tired of the killing and the running. It's in your blood, Alexa. It's how you think. Don't be so sure. You haven't even asked about her. Aren't you curious about your own daughter? I think we had this discussion before. That night, Beirut. I moved too fast to worry about a child. Look what it's done to you. They use her to threaten you, to twist you to their will. I can't afford that kind of luxury. Thank you. 
to shoot you right about now. God damn it, you know she's gone over to Kluge. I'm not sure of anything. I don't know whether she's trying to convince him or maybe work for herself or... With her child involved, I don't think... You don't think she's turned. She still owns you, Graver. And I'm not going to risk national security because you have a good feeling about her. Now, she knows too much about her operation. Send Wilson down here. Nice shooting, boss. I'm ordering a sanction on a woman, codename Alexa. Her file's on my desk. I'll take care of it. No, no, no. This is Graver's sanction. And if he hesitates, you do her. And if he tries to stop you, do him. Now get out of here, both of you. Welcome to our island, Colonel Trent. Where's Mr. Straker? He's waiting for you. You know, I always wanted to visit North Korea. Why is that? I heard it was a mysterious place. I wouldn't advise it. Oh, really? We are not very fond of Americans. No offense. None taken. Baker, Colonel Trang has arrived. Colonel, I hope you had a pleasant trip. 59 hours on the smelly freight boat from Curacao. I would not call pleasant. Well, if it was known you were in the country, a cell would be much more uncomfortable, I'm sure. Got a drink, gonna get you something else. Do you have the guidance actuator module? It's out in the hangar. And the programming chip? There's been a slight problem there. Someone beat us to it. This makes me very unhappy. I would not feel very generous if I had to return home on a stinking ship empty-handed. Don't put on the long face, Trang. I said it was a small problem. Hey, Wilson. You got those satellite surveillance pictures? Right here. Wilson's my inside man. Deputy Assistant, CIA Station Chief. You know Colonel Trang. Sure. I, uh, worked on the overthrow of the Premier. Cluj has got about 60 guys. Automatic weapons, some RPGs, anti-tank ground-to-ground. No aerial support. We'll have the chip before you can spit, Trang. I believe in performance, Mr. Straker. Will you just hang on? We'll put on a show you can tell your grandkid is about. <laughs> <laughs> takes to survive. Don't play games with me, Alexa. I need to know where you stand. I think you're jealous of Cluj. Too bad.
Look, Raven, if you don't have the balls to execute the sanction, I'll do it. We're not sure if Alexis has really gone over, so I'll make the decision. Right. If you think you're going to become a permanent figure around here again, you're wrong. You never could handle the competition. Why don't you just call hey, back in yeah. the Come on, girl. I'm sending you home in your body bag. That's a promise. But first, I'm going to fuck up your pretty little face. Come on. Get fight, get Alive. I think it's time we checked out of this motel. 
The only one checking out is you, my dear. Find the chip. Then you will have my congratulations. Good to see you, Lana. Nice job. Clue just finished. That bitch Alexa has a chip. She went out that way. She won't be hard to find. Don't worry, Colonel. We'll get the chip. my leg. Could you gentlemen help me, please? Give me a reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. Information. I know where the microchip is. If Straker hasn't picked it up yet, I know when he will and where he will and who he intends to sell it to. Tell me where it is or I'll spill your brains all over the sand. I don't think that would be in my best interest. Go ahead and kill him, Graver. I'll take pictures. I'd love to. But he's right. All right, get out. I, I don't believe that I can walk. I just... Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What direction did they go? Uh... I think west. 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 You guys go southwest. We'll head straight ahead. You got radio. Use them. We'll do the same.
Let's spook the horse. You'll like it. Baker's got the chip. Where's he taking her? I don't think that information will be necessary. What happened here? A change of plan. Agent Wilson. Organization's security checks leave a little room for improvement. So what now? Two desert scorpions locked in a tango. Stingers poised. But as you see, one of them lowers his tail and bows. Why the turn, Cluj? A mutual death in the desert was not my idea of an ending for myself. You want Alexa and the chip. I would settle for a small financial reward from your government for their return. Yeah. Well, how can I trust you? Now, we both know, Graver, that trust doesn't exist in our business. Let's just say it would be to our mutual benefit to make strange bedfellows out of natural enemies. Yes? What happened to your leg? Seems to have made a miraculous recovery, hasn't it? Yeah, get in the car. You're driving. I'm used to the wheel being on the other side. I'll do my best. Man. 
The last part of the puzzle. Yeah, you can put it all together. Report back to me when you're done. How do I know it's a real chip and not a decoy? Yeah, it'd take a while for my technical people here to get it hooked up and run a test series. Till then, my plan is a little party. I did not come here for a party, Mr. Stringer. I wish to be on my way as quickly as possible. You know, you gotta take your shoes off, Trang. Think of it as a vacation, huh? <laughs> Straker and I have something very interesting in mind for you. Really? Well, I'm not into group scenes. Don't flatter yourself. My little private getaway it used to be an aquatic amusement park. I am not very amused. Don't worry, Trang. I'll get you back on your stinking boat as quick as I can. I am getting very tired of this little game, Kluge. Give us your information, and I'll tell you if it's worth a deal. I will tell you who the buyer is. But I will not tell you the location of the base. I will show you. We know where his base is. If you knew where the base was, you wouldn't be speaking to me here now. OK. Who is the buyer? Colonel Trang. That son of a bitch. We set him up in power. Perhaps you should lower his trade subsidy. But I think once he receives a completed guidance system, he won't care. So how do you propose we work the recovery? I will go with Graver. Once we've arrived, he should signal our coordinates. I expect that support forces will be necessary. Who knows? Maybe after we've arrived, uh, Clue Share will have a little accident. That's enough, Graver. I don't like this. You don't have much of a choice, do you? No. Who are these people, Zuka? I wish to conclude our business and be gone. You know some of these guys, Trey. I see. General Mendoza. The NGAM guidance system is too valuable a price for only one buyer. We had a contract, Zuka. This is betrayal. Contract is canceled. <laughs> Gentlemen, why don't we take a pause in the festivities to conclude a little business? This way, please. Come on, guys. I think you'll find my little enterprise here quite fascinating. Completely private. 300 miles from the nearest town. The buildings themselves are like fortresses. Walls are completely soundproof. So relax. Nothing can touch us.
Yeah. You leave the hatch open, it's, it's really hot in here. I can't breathe. No can do, baby. Oh, come on. I'm so hot. Please. Sorry. Could you help me with this at least? Absolutely. Graver, radio coordinates, one Echo Charlie. Repeat, one Echo Charlie, over. Roger, you're 20. Roger that. OK, Clues, let's proceed. North by northwest, we'll meet at the top. We hope. Yeah. On watch? Aren't you supposed to be up there? Never mind. Gentlemen, I'd like to thank you once again for coming. Now, as you know, the world political landscape is becoming increasingly fragmented, with only one superpower stretched to its financial limits. Each one of you are in a position to take advantage of this fragmentation of power balance. Now, some of you already have nuclear programs, though you may not admit it. Others will soon be nuclear capable through the availability of the old Soviet surplus coming onto the market. But what all of you lack in your desire to become major players on the world power stage is a state-of-the-art guidance and control system. So let's talk about the NGAM, Nuclear Guidance Actuator Module, or as I like to call it, the end game. The latest in top-of-the-line US of A guidance and control technology, fully tested and ready for immediate delivery. And so, who'd like to start the bidding? Five millions, Senor Schrecker. <laughs> Come on, Mendoza. Be serious. Bidding starts at 10. I hear 10 million. <laughs> 15 millions. you can't hide.
Party's over, Straker. Gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Alexa. A very tenacious young lady. She'd like to start her own nuclear war. <laughs> I said, Alexa, end game. Not bad for an amateur, but you gotta watch your tail rotor control. Screw you, Graver. Anytime. The end game's in the chopper. He brought it back for us. It's over. I guess that's the end of Cluj. 
doesn't have to be the end of us if you don't want it to be. <laughs>